So let's take a look at what's new in version 2.13 of H2R Graphics. We're going to launch right in with the new social from multiple sources, including Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, all that good stuff. And uh, to do that in 2.13, I need to jump over to my browser here and install something called socialstream.ninja. Now I have that installed already in my Chrome tab here. And you can see it as I open up my extensions, socialstream.ninja. Uh, I'll leave the link below this video so you can check that out and uh, see how to install it on your end as well. But in my case, it is installed here, as you can see. And with it opened, I have it active and I have access to two different things here. A streaming chat, which is where the um, all the messages come in and then the feature chat overlay. We'll ignore that for now. Open up the streaming chat and all the messages will make their way in here in a second. You'll see, and I can take those from all sorts of sources like Twitch, like I said, YouTube, Facebook, loads more, Zoom, more than I even know exists to be honest. But for now, we'll just stick with a couple, YouTube and Facebook as well. So I have this YouTube test stream here, just running in the background, some chat messages in there, and um, I'll use that for this test purposes. In order to trigger it, you need to pop out the chat. So I'll do that for this one. And then um, I can just move that stream window out of the way. I don't need that just now. With this popped out, it's able to push messages into that socialstream.ninja. So if I just write in, hey, send it, you'll see it pop into socialstream.ninja. Works really nicely. Then I have this Facebook live stream open as well. I'm just running that in the background here and I'll just pop out the chat of that as well, which again will trigger these messages to be sent to socialstream.ninja. I'll just move that out of the way, I don't need it. And I have my chat from the Facebook live test here. I can just type in something like, hey, hello, press send, and you'll see that pops into socialstream.ninja, looks nice. All right, so to make this work with H2R graphics, I need to head back to the app and then use the new add data source and HTTP listener option in order to open up a HTTP listener. And I'll just grab this URL and uh, copy that to my clipboard with command C on the Mac here. And then over on the extension, socialstream.ninja extension, I can open this up and scroll way to the bottom and I can make sure that I paste that URL into this send all to h2r server option. I'll just paste that in there. And um, it's got the IP forward slash data forward slash the data ID. I can also make sure to strip HTML from messages. That is important. If you don't do that, you'll see some weird HTML. And then I'll also just turn on send all to h2r server, which is nice. It will send all of the data into h2r graphics. So I'll just type in this test one here, type in another one over on the YouTube chat. Hey, hey, hey and then I'll hit send. And now if I open up my normal rundown on H2R graphics here, and I'll just open up an output as well so we have that to look at, I can go into my H2R graphics rundown and add a social graphic just so I have one in place. And it just opens up as the test, of course. But if I head into my social tab, you'll see already the Facebook and YouTube messages popped in here. So there's a couple from John Barker on Facebook, and then there's one below from uh, the YouTube channel as well. And you can see there, there's a little icon for the YouTube ones, and then there's a little icon for Facebook ones, and whatever the source of the messages, the icon will pop up. I can click on it, show it just like I would, and you can see here it has the icon, the little YouTube icon as well, and then of course the channel name and the uh, message that I sent as well. I'll press one from Facebook, and it works nicely as you would expect it to. Let me just add another chat message here. Hi from Facebook. This is John. And then press send on that. It takes a few seconds, but it makes its way into the rundown and I can click on it like any other graphic, show it up and it works quite nicely. There's a doubling going on here. I'm not sure what's going on there, but you can see in socialstream.ninja, it's being doubled for some reason. I'm sure we can figure out what's going on there. What's nice about this is I could pull all that data in and show it just like I would with other social comments, social sources. It works really nicely. I love it. The next feature to show off is a new pro graphic and it's called Now, Next, Then. And let's take a look at what that actually looks like and means. So by default, this is a way of showing what's coming up in a schedule or in a meeting or something like that. It's a good way to show up a few things like that. If I show it right now, you can see here it says Now, 
item one, item one description. And then it automatically goes on to the next one after five seconds, next item two, and then five more seconds passes. And it goes on to item three. I've set that up to loop forever here. So it'll just keep looping forever back to the start. And the time per second I have set up here is five. Let's just hide that for a second. And I'm gonna go into the media tab and add some media that I can use for the graphic. I have three images here, a picture of myself, a screenshot from h2r.graphics, and then a picture of Lucas as well, who was on my live stream a little while ago. I just happened to have this photo lying around. So if I go back to my rundown and I edit this graphic here, I can jump into section one. I can say, no, I want the title of the section to be welcome. And then I'll change the picture to my own headshot. On section two here, I might change that to H2R graphics. And then I'll choose the image of the website. And then on section three, I'll might write in something like guest Lucas. And I'll choose an image, which was the image of Lucas. And then whenever I change the time per section to three seconds and show it, you'll see that one, two, three seconds pass. And then it goes on to the next image. Another few seconds pass and it goes on to the next one. Three seconds is a bit fast, I think. Five is about right, depending on how much text you have. But it will just repeat like that forever until I take it off air again. New Pro Graphic called Now, Next, Then, which is perfect for schedules, upcoming events, and all that fun stuff. The next thing I added was a new option for the countdown timer here. Now, as usual, I can set the duration here. I'll just do 10 seconds. And this is the new option here, hide timer when time is up. So by default, this is selected. And whenever the time runs out, the graphic will disappear. But if I choose no, show negative numbers, and I show this graphic, it counts down 10 seconds, as you would expect. But instead of disappearing at zero, it will it'll go into negative numbers and not disappear until you manually make it disappear. So now you can use this for a stage timer countdown so you can keep people on time and then let them know that they're over time. But if you prefer it to hide, of course, you can always just leave it at the default and let it hide when it gets to zero. And the final thing to add in this video is a new way of adding data to the social section. So I have a data source added to this project, but I can add my own comment manually. I can type in a name here. I can also type in a comment. Hello there, this is my custom comment. And then I can add a profile image URL. So I can grab a URL from the internet somewhere. I'm just gonna go grab one from Dropbox actually. I have one, my headshot that I showed earlier in this video. And I will just grab that Dropbox link and then I'll just paste that into the profile image URL. And whenever I hit add custom comment, you'll see the comment pops up on the list from Sean Parker. He says, hello there, this is my custom comment. And then it, it gets automatically listed and I can click on it and show it. it. Took a few seconds for the image to show up there, of course, but that's just because of the way I choose a huge image. By default, the URL will stay in that pop-up so I can add multiple comments with the same image, which is really nice. Good for a, let's say a zoom icon or something like that. Tim Baker says, this is another one. And then I can hit add. And of course it gets the same image there. I can show that on the output, just like any other comment. Perfect if you wanna add some comments before a live stream kicks off. All right, I hope you find that useful. Let me know if there's any issues along the way. Do let me know over on the website if you have any problems. Thanks.